Fora TV. The world is thinking. Toxification of the planet. Maybe it's related to consumption, of course. Crap we put on our farm fields and our big monocultures. But toxification may be a worse problem. Why? Uh, and I'm not sure, yes or no, but we've spread toxic substances all over the planet. And at least with climate change, we've got crackpot ideas for what to do if we don't get the greenhouse gas emissions down. We're going to dump t billions of tons of iron filings in the southern oceans. We're going to put sunshades between us and the sun. We're going to have the battleship Missouri shooting aerosols into the atmosphere, you know, five shots a minute for the next 200,000 years, that sort of thing. Now, these are nutty. They're truly nutty. But at least, you know, people can think about what you might possibly do. By the way, most of them don't do anything at all for the acidification of the oceans that comes from the carbon dioxide. In other words, you don't want to think of the greenhouse gases as only having the effect of changing the, the, uh, uh, the, the way the heat is transferred in the, uh, uh, in the atmosphere. But with the toxics, what do you do? Get your graduate students out there with forceps to pull the molecules back out of the world, the DDT that's in the uh, uh, Arctic ice cap and the, and the Arctic ice and in the Antarctic ice and so on. And some of the things we're releasing in quite large quantities uh, are things that don't have a standard dose response curve. The, the, one of the things that's wrong with our regulations is the assumption is always made uh, that the more of a chemical you have are exposed to, the worse the effects. But there are a lot of things, particularly things that mimic hormones, where that can be exactly reversed. That the smaller amounts are much more deadly, and it's because it has a way, it, it depends on how the receptors that are affected are upregulated or downregulated. And there are many substances, if you're exposed to very small parts, you get really nasty results. And you don't get those results if you're exposed to big doses. Now, you may, how many of you know the story of bisphenol A? Just curious, a few of you, all right. But this, this, I think, shows how Linnaeus misnamed us Homo sapiens, the smart man. That was the original name. What smart man would work very hard to develop a synthetic hormone uh, to use in things like birth control pills, estrogen, and uh, find out it's not quite powerful enough to use in the pills, so you put it into the plastic of baby bottles so it leaches into the baby's milk. Very, not very homo sapient, is it? But almost all these hard plastic sports bottles are giving you all a dose of hormones, which may actually be more effective at small doses than large. We don't know. So when I say that um, the problem of toxification may be worse, there are these weird signs, for instance, in subarctic villages, in some places now, there are twice as many girl babies born as boy babies. And there are stories of, I shouldn't say stories, there are reports of decline in uh, sperm viability in men. That there's a move towards less, uh, less viable sperm. Now, the, these are very controversial, but the point is, when you start dosing everybody with weird hormones in combinations, you have no idea what the effects are going to be. If you find out one of them is really bad, there's not even a crackpot scheme to come up with to cure it. You can't get rid of it. It's all over the environment. We are releasing thousands and thousands of chemicals into the environment where we have, no, we have little idea of their direct effect on human beings, no idea of their effect on other organisms, and no ideas of their, uh, of their synergistic, possible synergistic effects, one way, two way, three way, n minus one over uh, n times n minus one over two ways. In other words, you have a lot of interactions if you have 10,000 chemicals out there, no way you can test them. Uh, and uh, I think, uh, obviously, some of these things we need to do. In other words, what kind of society we have, you can't avoid letting some stuff out into the environment. But you sure as hell can avoid putting synthetic hormones into your plastics that they're going to leak out of.